Hey everybody, welcome to a new Q&A episode with me, Hardwell. Ask me anything you want to my Facebook and Twitter, so you will get to know everything about me, my music, and my life. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Hardwell and you're listening to a new episode of Hardwell On Air. Most of the time, song names are just popping up in my head. And sometimes it depends on the sound. The track Contiki I did with Danik, we came up with the melody when we were on vacation and the apartment where we were staying, it was named Contiki, so. No, I didn't take any classes, but uh, it took me like years and years to develop my ears and listen to other producers, read a lot of tutorials on the internet and just trying and trying and trying out. You know, it's, it takes a lot of time to develop your own sound and get your ears right to, you know, master your tracks yourself. When I was six years old, I started playing piano and I played piano for 10 years. And actually, to be honest, it's the only instrument I play. I started producing in Cubase on Windows, but like five years ago I switched to Apple and changed to Logic. That's definitely the program I would recommend. If you're more like focusing on the workflow, I would recommend Ableton. And in the end, it doesn't matter which program you use, it's all about your own creativity. Uh, no, there's no general process. Uh, sometimes I start with the melodies. And sometimes I start with the beats. Sometimes I just feel like making some cool beats and sometimes the melody is in my head, so I start working out the melody. When I start producing a song, um, I always do like the mastering while I'm producing the track. I always try to make it sound the best from the beginning. I'm gonna show you my Spaceman project. Uh, on this track, I start writing the melody and finding the right sound. After that, I wanted to make it more progressive, so I started writing the chords and make it more progressive. And that part I combined with a previous melody. To be honest, the beats are really easy on this track. It's nothing more than a kick drum and just some hi-hats and some percussion. Combine everything together, it sounds like this. In the end of the process, I always do a bit of EQing on the master channel and a bit of compression. Actually, that's pretty much it. Don't speak, don't speak, don't speak no more. Actually, that's a funny question because my new record featuring Showtech, How We Do, I'm responsible for the vocals. Yeah, that's how we do! Uh, when I work on a collaboration, I always discuss it with the artists I collaborate with. Sometimes I come up with the melody or sometimes they come up with the beat, so it's what the artists prefer, you know? I'm always working on music, even if it's like original tracks or remixes or edits. If I have time off, I'm working on some music. Keep an eye out for the second episode about the Hardwell Studio where I will explain my full studio setup and my favorite plugins and synths. I will have some very special giveaways of my favorite studio equipment and products for you guys. So don't hesitate and subscribe so you don't miss out. 